That is a man called Ifanyo Bade said he's from Nnewi. As soon as this whole thing started, he went about lying to the presidency of the zoo that he talks to me every day. I have never in my life spoken to Ifanyo Bade before. I have not. He kept using the name of IPOB to extort money. Very comfortable individuals in and around the Newi during this period. He has been going around duping people, obtaining money from them with falsehood because he claimed that he would defend their properties for them and prevent our angry young people from attacking them. And he told Asarok that we speak on a daily basis. That he is in control of what is happening on the ground. That was the man that when this whole thing started, he was the one that was seen distributing 20,000 Naira each to some hooligans. Very, very sad indeed. But those people that later on decided to occupy the road leading from Onesia to a worry that necessitated or warranted the order that I gave during one of our emergency brokers that they should clear from the roads, which they did. If you know this man, Ifanyo Ba, who is from Nene, will you go and warn him? All those stupid politics and games they play, we don't play it. We are IPOB. We don't play all those. They can play that nonsensical games with the hotelier. Not with us. Because we are very, very serious. If you have been duped with the name of IPOB, if you have been deceived into thinking that Ifan Yoba has the ear of anyone, not even the unit coordinator in his village, then you are grossly mistaken. We don't know who he is. And we do not care to know who he is. The people of Newi should please take note and stop giving him your money or allowing him access to whatever influence that he thinks you may be able to wield in Abuja based on these lies he's been propagating. We don't know who he is. Coming to this zoological